It's not freezing. Not wet. Not wet. Mm. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't be fun if it rained, would it? No. I'll tell you what, Dakar, that, that was no fun. <laughs> when it was raining. Wow. Mauvais sens. Non, bon sens. Ce vêtement il commence à être bien troué. Si euh, Six veut nous offrir des fringues. Avec plaisir. Mark starts a minute, a minute in front of me. So I'll chase him up. Come on. I'll chase you up this morning. Chase me up? You're one minute ahead of me, so oh. I'll have to push. Push? <laughs> Put you in front of me? Yeah. Too fast. Not pushing any buttons yet on the side, huh? <laughs> Benji, Benji, you okay, Benji? Excuse me? It's putting him back on, no problem. Maybe it's putting him there. I can see the stress coming. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too hot? Too hot? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Mark, I love you, but I know you're stressed. Hop la. Happy. Happy. Just safety is in toy, but doesn't need it. Yeah? Yeah, come in, come in. Yeah, can I come in? Our people can't see all that well. They don't have pan chocolat, mate. No pan chocolat? No. Bon appetit. And I just finished watching the, the video. <laughs> Don't crash, huh? <laughs> now it's ready to go. Mark is ready, I think, I hope. Start in 20 minutes, 25 minutes. <laughs> Why? Don't argue, no, Mark. It's all good. What was that about? No, I couldn't roll it straight. <laughs> <laughs> we've got this fucking poxy system. Had it worked for fucking ten years at Safari without any problems. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool little couple. <laughs> <laughs> So here at the start, focused, ready to rock. A bit of road book installation, Mark. Yes, Benji. This is the Australian this way. Place. This is the Australian way. This is what Don should have done this morning. So Mark's on his way, and uh, yeah, I'll catch him in a few kilometers. So here is the start. What would be the three words of your day? Sand, sand and more sand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Today was the marathon Fine. day. Um, longest day of the rally. I think 247 kilometer stage. Um, 57. 57. 257. Much harder than yesterday though, yeah? It was difficult. Yeah, yeah a bit much harder. Technical. Um, soft sand. Yeah, like unrelenting all day. You couldn't take your eyes off the beast for one moment. Exactly. Otherwise, disaster. Yeah. Did you see it? Disaster? I used an airbag today. <laughs> One canister, <laughs> 70 euro, bang, gone. <laughs> Opulence at its best, you can only imagine. One day I'll be able to afford to live there.
This is how the other half live, I think. <laughs> one day when we big, Don. Yeah. One day when we big. But alas, not this time. Yeah, very nice, huh? Very nice. Very expensive. But, hey, it's only money. Nice drinks with little umbrellas in them is what I think of. Relaxing by the pool. Oh, scorpion, is it? Scorpio, no. The flat one. Yeah, this is a. Hey. Holy <laughs> moly! <laughs> this guy needs to be hired by Toyota as a driver. <laughs> He's a hooligan. Yeah, that was hard this morning, I felt it. And it's warm as well, eh? Enjoy. Alright, we'll go chill a bit. You might need an extended rest, Benji. Sorry? We might need an extended rest. Yeah, no problem. Take your time. Recover. It's so beautiful, isn't it? This is why we do it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! We've done the toughest part, huh? We've done the hardest. What? Only 30 something case to go. Yeah, but this is fast. Look at it. Alright, a drink. Do you want to eat something? No, it's way out of this either. Is here, Klimbo. Hello. Bonjour. You've been in the desert all day? Yeah. Shite. Yeah. We thought the camels might have got you. It was a long day. Was, it, water? was it cool? Yeah. 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 It was very cool. I found a nice spot. So I told you if you don't get the morning light, yeah, that'll be fine. We're coming late. <laughs> yeah, it's why you take your time for the, yeah, for the light. Yeah. Just, <coughs> just for the video. That's part of the planning. It's day one of marathon, so no service from us. Boys are back home safe. Filters are done. Reviewing some videos over there. Some spills, it seems. Uh, so easy night for us. Relaxing, have a chat, debrief over the last couple of days, and yeah, just enjoy the beautiful sunset. <laughs> no, that was a long day. Like that was difficult, and uh, obviously, yeah, you will need to have a good night, recover. Eat, I think I need to be in by 8 o'clock, yeah. We've got a late night tomorrow morning, late uh, morning, sorry, tomorrow sleep morning. In. Sleep what in. What time do we sleep in till? I think first bike's going to be out from here at 7.45 or something, because uh, the start is here. Don, can I have breakfast in bed, please? <laughs> oh. oh, come on. I'm missing my wife as it is. Sorry. 
It's not gonna happen. You're a writer, you gotta get up, you gotta do the full should, job. Should bring me breakfast in bed, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> not. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just call John. Jan and we'll just confirm that, okay? No, she wouldn't. Jan, you won't do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Two chances, fat chance and no chance. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Anyway, I'm pretty damn tired. It's a marathon day, so no mechanic Yeah, well, I've today. done Benji's air filter, my air filter, and I've done his oil. Um, I just ran out of time to do my oil, so, but, um, them yeah, break, thanks, so. thanks yeah. more. Yeah, I'm just, a, I'm just that Much kind of guy. Much yeah. appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. I know I can count on you. <laughs> Actually, he's done everything. <laughs> I've done nothing. Well, yeah. you get your hands dirty too. Yeah, yeah. still didn't wash them. Or sticky. Yeah. Mafi muskila, come in this What else? Not much. Good job. One more day. Few crashes. Few. Mm. Maybe four. Four in an airbag. Yeah, but in the end it didn't count because that was uh, really hard and you were a bit tired and uh, yeah, it was tired. hard to pick it up and everything. So it's okay. Tomorrow is another day. Long night. Chill. Chill. We've got 25 minutes allowed for mechanic. Mechanics. Mark, how are you? Good, good. Yeah, good, good. Rested? Very good. Well done, brother. Did you? Over speeding in this stage. You get a too fast bike, so. I could not hear the bus. Yeah, once it's in, going up. And how dangerous it is to to manage your speed like this. Yeah, yeah. It's no chance, I think. No 150, no problem. But how? Jam. Long days. Long it's also days. good for your fitness, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad, a bit. Uh, yeah, I could tell that yesterday was a long day, that's for sure. But yeah. looking around the paddock, I don't know, everybody looks like they had a long day too. Maybe not Skippy, this looks like he just did a 10 minute moto warm up. Maybe cooler today as well. I think the forecast is for 27 or 28. So that'll help. Yeah, sand and some dunes, I think, is the forecast. Yeah. <laughs> Kick, kick, kick. Oh. Probably have the ear track and GPS on tonight. Have we started out? Yeah, you'll start it. Did it? But you should be getting ready to warm it up. Make sure it's not, you just be careful it could be in gear. Let's get a battery issue. I think uh, the GPS something stayed on all night, so we're just gonna jump start him. So I've got spare like cable. But I tell you what, I've been keeping a track of how many times Benji stops for other riders, other pilots, and it's just astonishing, astonishingly good sportsmanship. So on the first day, he stops for 11 riders. Some have run out of fuel, some have mechanical problems, some are tired, some need water, some need fuel. He gives them everything, all the assistance he can. And then today is three riders, yeah? Even the one today is even before the start. Benji dismantles his motorcycle, pulls out the jumper leads, takes his seat off, takes the seat off of the other competitor and jump starts the motorcycle. Meantime, he's lost his, uh, his start time. He's missed his start time by four minutes doing this, but it's not a problem for Benji, you know? He's like, for KTM, he's like a one-man PR team. He it fl flies the flag for the brand, he's the best brand ambassador KTM has, and he is dead set a one-man sort of like PR machine. So I don't know what KTM pay him, but I tell you what, they should pay him heaps more because he does more than the whole t PR team by far, in my assessment. He is just waving the flag, spruiking the brand, with the brand, and um, you know, Fixing all the motorcycles as he goes. He's just an amazing person, an amazing sportsman. It was a long day today. The sand was pretty soft and the dunes were pretty technical. I felt a bit uh, bad for Mark. I thought it was going to be a really long day when we first started. And then after that it was uh, getting better. 
uh, a bit smoother and uh, faster ride. In the end, there was a long stage, but it was, uh, was, was pretty cool. No mechanical issues so far, so yeah, I think it's an important point. And yeah, I'm proud of Mark, he's done a really good job. That was, uh, that was not easy, that was long, and I could feel like, yeah, we really wanted to be home. The goal here is to keep him motivated and, yeah, be focused until the end. And I really want him to reach the finish line on Friday. Just trying to get the kilometers to go through as, as fast as possible without taking any risks. And obviously the dunes are huge and, uh, yeah, sometimes it's hard when you don't see where it ends and I'm trying to find the good lines around but sometimes you just gotta hit it. Just to remind people, compared to Dakar, I'm not, I'm not having the same experience at all. Uh, I'm here to share the race with Mark, so I'm not racing really for myself. My main goal is to get Mark to the finish and to do all the stages, all the kilometers, not to do any shortcuts. Sharing is the main the main word and, and, and it's the key also in, the, in that project. I've shared a lot of moments with Mark here and also with others. Uh, I've helped a few guys in the stage, before the stage and I think, yeah, that race is really about the like friendship, sharing, uh, you know, being, uh, being good to people also. So I try to, to support people when they have issues as much as I can. Because obviously, when uh, when I'm racing on my own, I don't have, uh, I can't really lose time just to help people, and I feel bad also sometimes not not to help because I sometimes I feel like oh yeah I could stop and I could help get him back again, but then you run on your own time. When someone crashes and you help him for health issues or just to get back on his wheels because there was a health um, matter, then it's different, you get your time back. But when it's just for mechanical, then yeah, you don't get anything back. So obviously I've done it the first year and then when you start to race for, on my first Dakar, sorry, but when you start racing for results, uh, you can't really afford to lose time like that. So yeah, it's a bit sad, but I try my best to, to give advices and uh, yeah, just not to waste my races also for others. Actually, we've got the briefing in 10 minutes, so I'll try not to be late and be careful with what they will say. Hey, Marky Mark. Yeah. I was just looking, found some instructions on these, on these clutch levers, right? Yeah. And you know how it's a hard feel, a bit of bits. There's some different things here, but I was just reading the info on clutch adjustment. Yeah. And I came across this last line here, right? Nice, no, be good. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. After nine, after nine hours, this is what I want to hear. Yep, go on. You need to read it. Go on. Okay, it says, um, regardless of ratio of barbers, the clutch must be fully disengaged, to leave out, out of his, otherwise, clutch will drag heat up and wear out before it should. Different story for you. If the lever pull is too hard, train more. Can you believe they say that? <laughs>